hello friends so welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to create one financial dashboard okay so we have one data set in that uh, like a report is there for the year 2019 to 2020 so we have to generate one revenue analysis report from that particular data set so we will see what are the different steps for creating this particular report in power bi okay so we know uh, like power bi uses many we can load the data with the from many multiple sources in power bi right so for watching that particular sources what you can do you can click on this get data okay so these are the different sources from where we can load the data in this power bi okay so today we are using excel workbook as our data source so just click on excel workbook locate the file and click on open Okay, so this data set has uh, one sheet, so just load this sheet one. It will take some time to get load. So now the data is loaded okay you can see the data so in the right hand side we have sheet 1 so if you open that sheet 1 so these are the multiple columns in this particular sheet okay so we will just transform the data a little bit because so many empty columns are there in this particular data set so after loading the data the next step is the transformation of that particular data so just click on home go to this transform data option okay so this new window will open and this is called as a power query editor okay so basically it will show the preview of this complete data so what we have to do now we have to delete all this empty column okay so right click on the column and click on delete or remove so we have to remove all these empty columns okay now uh, we will see what data we have in this particular sheet so the first column is of region so we have different regions in this the second column is of country the third column is of sales representative and their name first name and last name with their gender then we have their age then rank level then their uh, like stores then we have data for product then years okay then we have quarter and month so we will just change the data type of this so the month we can keep it as text and for years also we will use text only so this is done now for years we can use date as a data type i guess let's check okay only this will be fine let's keep as text only okay now after transforming the data the next step is to save this okay so for saving this click on home and just click here on the left side close and apply so whatever the changes you make in power query it will be automatically update uh, applied for this particular data set the next thing after transformation of the data is we have to check the models in this now see this empty columns will get removed so as there is only one table so there will be no relationship between the tables okay we have only one table here so no need to check the model okay the next thing we have to create some measures okay so we have already seen uh, in our previous videos how to create measures so for that what we can do okay we will create one new table okay so for creating new table just uh, go to home and click here enter data okay so this will be the best practice so that all measures will be at one place okay so name the table as measures and click on load
okay now see the measure table is created now what we can do uh, we can right click on this and new measure so the first thing which we will calculate is total revenue okay so what will be the formula for total revenue so total revenue will be equals to we will use some function here sum of which column which is revenue okay and just press enter so this formula will calculate total revenue from this data set after that we can create one more measure which is average revenue what will be average revenue so average revenue will be average of this particular column just press enter okay so we have calculated this average revenue as well the third column we uh, the third measure which we can calculate from this data will be total transaction right so total transaction will be equals to count of this first name so whatever the names are present here so the total number of names present will be equals to total transaction one more thing if someone ask how many countries we are present in so what we can do we can calculate total number of countries in which this company is present right so one more new measure right click new measure so the name will be total country so total countries will be equals to count of country hit enter okay so these are the four uh, like basic measures which we can like calculate from this particular data set okay now we are going to build the report we are going to create the report okay so first thing is we have to decide the background for this particular report okay so what we will do we will use color hunt website for the uh, background okay so what you can do you can decide colors right you can copy the color code and from that particular color code you can extract that particular color so we are going to build our dashboard now so this is the color hunt website okay so what you can do if you like this color so you can just copy this code and you can paste it for finding the color okay so we will use this color as a background so we will just minimize it so for giving the background color to your report you have to go to this option format your report page go to canvas background because this area is called as canvas so as we are giving color for our background so just click on this drop down menu go to more color paste the code and reduce the transparency to zero okay this will be our background color the next thing which we can do here is we can insert the shape so we will use this rectangle uh, around it at both the upper end okay so we will just align it we will just increase its size okay so what we will do we will just rotate it so go to rotation type here 180 we need 270 actually yeah just increase the size okay so here what we will do we will put our slices in this particular area and one more thing you can do you can again insert the same shape 
okay you can rotate it with 90 degree reduce the size of this particular shape like this and you can extend it so this will be our layout actually okay so what we will do we will put the slices here and we will put uh, whatever the numbers right for which we are using card visuals we'll put here okay so we'll just format this go to general go to effect okay for this particular shape go to style uh, disable the bag uh, like border for both the shape okay color we will again use the same thing we will copy the color code go to color click on more color paste the code similarly for this as well like this okay so slices will be here so this will be our layout okay so this is how you have to create the layout of the report okay now the next thing is we have to create the card visuals okay so this visual you can use card just click on this visual so the first thing will be we will show total uh, revenue so just drag this total revenue to the field okay so this will be the total revenue we'll just format it So how, what we will do, we will just format this one. So go to general, okay. Go to effect, background we will disable. Visual border we will enable. Shadow we will enable. Uh, one more thing which we can do is go to visual, go to call out value, just make it bold. Okay, and again category label, label you can make it bold. Okay, and choose the color as black okay so this is fine now the next thing which we will do here is we will just copy this one paste this one here so power bi has this advantage that we can directly copy paste the visual so in the second card what we will show we will show average revenue so instead of total revenue just drag average revenue in this field the third thing uh, means the third visual which we will use today is again the card one so in this we will show total countries so just drag total countries to this field and at last we will use one more card visual and in this we will show total number of transactions so total transaction now what we will do we will just align it so just copy uh, just select all the four card visuals go to format click on align and uh, click on distribute horizontally okay so now our card visuals are aligned okay so this is the start of our report okay the next thing is we have to build the visuals now okay we have to build the visuals to show the data inside of this particular data so first thing is we can show total revenue by region wise okay so the best uh, visual for that will be donut chart so what we uh, we are showing in this particular donut chart is total revenue in just drag total revenue and values and select region as so in this first visual we are showing total revenue by region wise okay so we have add total we have to add total revenue here in values okay not average revenue total revenue and in legend as we are showing it region wise so we will add region here in legend okay so this will be our donut chart for this one okay so now we will format this chart so basically the first thing is we have to disable the background okay so go to general go to effect background you can disable it enable the border okay uh, color of the border keep black and roundness corner you can select in between 12 to 15 after that uh, title just make it bold 
and center align and one more thing which you can do here is data label go to values make it bold and black this is the like basic settings and this also we have to make it bold and black so we have to go to legend option okay and in this text bold and black okay and one more thing which we can do here is we uh, go to background and just enable the shadow so it will look like this and it is looking good okay and after uh, like this slices color and all we will do at last okay according to our requirement so this is our first visual okay now the next visual which we are going to use is uh, line and clustered bar chart so on this we are going to show to comparison of total revenue and average revenue by country okay so for this we will use this one line and stacked column chart so just open this okay alignment we will do later so on x-axis we will keep company so just select company and drag it on x-axis on y-axis we are going to show total revenue in the form of columns on x-axis okay on x-axis what we are going to show uh, sorry on x-axis we have shown countries on y-axis we have shown total revenue uh, line we will use for average revenue showing the average revenue so this will be the graph we will just align it like this so what we will do we will just copy the format from here with the use of format printer and we will paste it here okay now only little little things are remaining for formatting so we'll just do that formatting so see here on x axis just go to format your select the visual uh, go to format your visual on x axis just make it bold and black in color values on x-axis and the title of x-axis also make it bold and black in color similarly for y-axis values make it bold black and title also make it bold and black so this uh, secondary y-axis right uh, see this is the primary y-axis which is uh, showing total revenue and this is this one is the secondary y-axis which is showing average revenue okay so again title and for secondary y-axis title should be bold black color just on it and values make it bold and black color okay so this is done now the next thing which we can do here okay so what we can do we can classify these bars uh, by its region okay so see just select the visual okay so here uh, one option is there column legend so in column legend you can drag a region see what difference it will make it will color based on the region okay it will color the column based on the region now one more thing uh, this data which is present on the right side for this particular data we can use this one tree map okay so tree map we can show total revenue just drag total revenue and values and store wise so store wise means you have to select rank in category so this is called a tree map so it means that the total revenue for store one is the highest okay so we will just copy the format from here we'll paste it on this one
okay now uh, what we can do uh, see here in this for this particular visual we can show grid lines as well so just go to format your visual scroll down so when you scroll down there will be one option for grid line instead of dotted you can select solid and choose black color okay now uh, we have created three visuals till now the first one was for total revenue by region second one was for comparison of total revenue and average revenue uh, by country and region the third one was for total revenue by rank uh, total revenue by store wise okay so we will just change the title of this one so go to format go to general title okay now uh, the next thing the next visual which we are going to show for this particular data set will be total revenue by quarter so for this we will use this area chart okay so on y-axis just select total revenue on x-axis select quarter okay so this will be the graph Okay, so here just copy the format and paste it okay now one more thing which you can do is you can show total revenue by product wise okay so for that we are going to use this ribbon chart and I'll explain that how to use this see just select ribbon chart so the first thing is x-axis so on x-axis we want product the second thing is y-axis so on y-axis we will use total revenue and legend we will use store wise so we will select rank so I'll just show you how this graph works basically see these are the color for different stores blue pink orange and store uh, orange dark blue and this purple okay so on y-axis we are showing revenue so it means that for smartphones the highest revenue is for store one then this one uh, store four then store three then store five and then store one similarly for accessories category the highest revenue is again for store one like this it shows okay so just copy the format and paste it okay now the next visual which we are going to make is for is a table a matrix table okay I'll show you how to do that so basically uh, just select this one matrix visual okay this visual will open okay so for this visual uh, see what are the key fields which are required so first row so in row we will give sales representative okay after that in values we will first add total transaction okay after total transaction we want to show total revenue after total revenue we want to show their average revenue okay so this will be the matrix table so for matrix table just copy the format just paste it here okay now uh, we'll just format this so select the matrix table go to format your visual so the first thing is uh, values so make it bold text color will be black then background color this will be same as this one 
alternate text color again black and alternate background color same then go to column header so for each and every text we have to make it bold background same then alignment will be center row header again bold black alignment center so you can select multiple sales person here Okay, so this is our table so here just select on here go back to report now uh, we have this space so in this space what we can do we can show the comparison of total revenue and average revenue month wise okay so we will just copy this chart and we'll paste it Okay, so see on X axis instead of country we want to show month on Y axis it will be total revenue on again line on Y axis it will be of average revenue and we don't want to show the region. Okay, so we'll just discard it. Okay, so this will be our final visuals. Okay, so we have shown how many visuals here we have used three six and seven visual okay so the first visual is this one donut which is showing total revenue by region the second visual is this one which is showing total revenue uh, comparison of total and average revenue by region wise the third one is the tree map which is showing total revenue by stores then we have this area chart which is showing total revenue for different quarter then we have this one total revenue by product and stores so basically we have used ribbon chart for showing this then we have shown the table for sales persons and their total transaction total revenue and their total average revenue then we have used line and uh, clustered column chart for showing to comparison of total revenue and average revenue month wise okay then uh, what we can do for this particular dashboard we can use some slices okay for giving the filter option customization option so just click on this slicer okay just drag the slicer here reduce the size so the first slicer is will be for year so just drag years in this one and the main thing is go to format your visual go to slider slicer setting and just click on tile option okay so just format this slicer so basically while formatting what you will do the very basic formatting just disable the background okay visual border you can enable shadow you can enable and you can use 12 here go to visual okay for background we can select this one okay uh, make it bold and select black color so this will be our formatting for slicer and for title means slicer header so select text as bold black color done this will this will be the slicer for year then again just copy paste the slicer so the second slicer will be for after year for we can show it for quarter okay so just drag quarter instead of years okay so it will give the option for quarters 
okay and one more slicer which we can create is for stores so just copy this and paste this I'm just realigning, realigning it. Okay, so in this years, uh, instead of year, we are going to show shows. We have two more shows like this. So we will use arrow for that one. Okay, so this will be our final dashboard. If you have any doubt and any query in this particular dashboard so just comment in the comment box okay i'll reply to that one so uh, basically in today's data set so first we have just transformed the data we have calculated the required numbers for total revenue average revenue total country and total transaction after that we have decided uh, the visuals okay how we are going to show on that particular revenues and av comparison of total and average revenue so for showing the total revenue by region wise we have selected donut chart similarly for comparison of total and average revenue uh, by country and region so we, we have used line and clustered column chart after that we have shown total revenue by different store wise for that we have used stream app and similarly we have learned how to build a ribbon chart then area chart and we how to build a matrix table okay and how to use slicer for this particular dashboard so i hope you have liked the video i hope you have got a basic understanding okay of how to create reports financial report in power bi so thank you for watching this video